Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So we've got a new map. Right, so this is Adel Chauvin. This is by MN99, MN97 and Martin N. 100.51 megabyte on the download. And it says on the website, Welcome to Adel Chauvin. The map is fictitious and is intended to represent a region in Central Europe. Right, okay, fair enough. So what are we talking about from a slot count perspective? If you come on Farm Manager and start from scratch, you will use 1,056 slots. Yeah, that's pretty high. If you come on New Farmer, you will use 1,091. It's only, what, 35 more slots. And the reason for that is you have the same equipment regardless of what game mode you come on. The difference is you don't have any of these buildings on this start farm here. None of these buildings are here when you get on it on new far, uh, farm manager and start from scratch. But the equipment is. So what are we talking about from an equipment perspective? So if we go into there, small tractors. We've got the Steyr 8150. We then got the Landini Rex 4-120 GT. And that will become apparent in a little bit. We then got medium tractors, we've got the Class Axion 800 and then the Vautra 8750, Massey Ferguson MF 3670. Under harvesters, we've got the Deutzfahr Top Liner 4090H. Under the cars, we've got the Lizard Pickup 2017. We've got the trailer, the Class Carrot 140TD. Under headers, the Top Liner 4090 header. We've got the Grape Technology. This is what I mean why it will all become apparent later. We got the LWS 12,000, the Mercury 4,000 litre sprayer, and then the MP122 Osea pruner. And then under mulchers, we've got the TPN 140. Plows, we've got the Servo 25. Oh, shocking. To be fair, 1.2, yeah, I normally go on about it, but there's a reason for that. Cultivator, again, the Rabe EG3 stroke 9, 2.5 metre, but you'll see why in particular on this map. I know they normally chuck it in as a starting equipment anyway, but this is more in keeping, and we'll see a little bit later. Again, with the cedar, uh, to be fair, the cedar one's not really, hmm, 3 metre. Nordston HK25 plus NS3030, didn't really need that small one, okay. Fertiliser spreaders, we've got the Breedle K105. Under the balers, we've got the Bio Baler WB-5S. That will become apparent in a bit as well. Forestry equipment, we've got the 144ND and then the SF900. Because there is quite a lot of trees on this map. And then under the animal section, we've got the Abbey 1600 or 1600. That's how you want to pronounce it. Header trailer, we've got the top liner 4090 trailer for the header for the harvester. And then under weights, we got two pack 750s. One's a little bit cheaper, is that? I mean, it's older. They both weigh the same, they're not both 750 kilo. Anyway, we'll carry on. So, start from scratch, farm manager. Obviously, you don't have any land that you start with. New farmer, we come on here. We'll click on that button. You start with all this, which is great. Obviously, this area here is your main farm and field 43 and field 25. But you also start with the periphery, which is interesting. But there is little sections like forestry there that you start with. Uh, that bit there that you start with up there. You've got this little strip down here. We'll see what that is a little bit later. This little strip down here. Again, we'll see what that is later. That is interesting, shall we say. If you do come on Farm Manager and start from scratch, if you wanted to buy the periphery, it's only 44 to buy, so it's not that expensive. And obviously, we have oh, Field 2 as well. Ooh, excellent. So that's your start area. Now... What we're talking about when you're coming to sell the stuff good news for that is you can sell everything that you would expect to sell obviously the normal shenanigans you've got with diesel road salt yeah you can't sell that but everything else i mean we come down here you can't sell seeds you can't sell uh, fertilizer 
I think it's herbicide as well that you can't sell. But everything else down it. Oh, digest date, which is fair enough. Don't normally sell that. Don't normally sell lime. Don't normally sell herbicide. And then you've got stones. There is a debris crusher there. So that is great. You can sell everything that you should sell. Very nice. Right, so starting farm. You come in here. Obviously, you start the game for some reason stood in this creek. Just getting your feet wet. This is where you start. So you come up here, right in front of you is your farm silo. So load in, load out at the same point. Then over here you've got a shed, a bit of storage. We'll open that up. Inside is some of your equipment. There's your little tractor and your great trailer and your sprayer. Let's turn lights on. Then next to that, there's one of the tractors and the trailer. We've got this big machine hole. We have pretty much all the other equipment in. And then we'll come around here. Over there on the left hand side we've got a few fillable silos. So we'll click on that one. We have seeds or mineral feed in that one. We'll click on that one and we can have solid fertilizer. What's that saying there? There's no more storage space for this product. We've got nothing in there. Is that full? Oh, it's full. It comes full. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, I like that. Oh, you get a full silo as well. Brilliant. And there is your pallet spawn point for your beehive, which is over there. Which is miles away. Is that even going to reach? All right, time will tell. Right, next we got here are two greenhouses. So obviously fill them up with water, get some greenhousery on the go. Is that a new word we've invented? Greenhousery. <laughs> Fair enough. Here you got your trailer. Trailer park, boys. <laughs> yeah. And then you've got your sleep trigger at the front. And then next to that, you've got your beehive. Yeah, I think that is a long way away. Was it like 150 metres? I'm not sure that's close enough to be fair. I don't know. Okay, we'll carry on. Right, so that's your main start farm. Oh, here's your other tractor with your trailer on the back. That's your main start farm. So, we'll go back up to the map there. We are going to come across to the shop. Right, so what's at the shop? Obviously, you've got the shop, but for some strange reason... The pruner, that's your equipment, and the two weights are up here as well. Just seems really random. So you've got your shop menu there, and you've got your area where you pull your vehicle over, and then your spanner icon there. Does seem strange where you'd have random pieces of equipment knocking around the map. Anyway, we're going to come down to this area here, because we own this field, and let's see what's down there. Right, so what's in this field here? This particular little one that you own. It's grapevines. Oh, yes. You own some grapevines. You don't even have to place them down because that obviously costs a fortune to start with. They're already there, which then brings into the game the equipment that you start with. Although, you've got the small tractor and the pruner and the sprayer, but not the harvester. So you've got all the stuff to grow it, but nothing to take it off with. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Right, we'll carry on. We're now going to come to this area here. Right, so what's in this area? This is your grain mill. Obviously production chain. Standard shenanigans on the go there. It's going to cost you 96 grand. Drop your stuff off in there. And there's your pallet spawn point. Very nice. Now, whilst we're down here, you've got this lake. Now, across the other side there, obviously it's a little bit hilly here. But it slopes in nicely there. So you'll be able to get your trailer backed in. Free water. Very nice. Right. We're going to come over to this area here. Right. So what's in this area? Because obviously we own this little strip of land there. Poplars. That's why you've got the bio baler. Obviously you can make yourself some wood chip bales. Oh, very interesting. And then also, if we go up this hill, could follow the road around, but we're just going to run through the trees anyway. We've got carpentry. 
Oh, there we are. There's your production chain menu. 60 grand to buy. We'll see your load in your wood and then hit the sell wood icon there. Then where's the pallet spawn point? It's normally at the side here. Oh, are they just going to spawn randomly in the middle of the road? Looks like they will. Okay. And next door to that, we've got a biomass heating plant, sell point. Load your stuff into there. Sell it off. Very nice. Right. We're going to come down to this area here. Right. So what have we got in this area? First up, we've got production chain, sugar mill. Obviously, standard base game one. So there's your production chain menu. 80 grand to buy. Pallet spawn point at the front. And then you've got the loading in point around the back. There we are. And if we come down here an oil mill obviously load in there pallet spawn point there go down the side there's your production chain menu 80 grand to buy as well then we'll carry on down here a little bit next door we've got the cereal factory again standard base game one there's your production chain menu 110 grand to buy pallet spawn point there then your loading in point there. So then what we'll do, come through the trees, rather than follow the road round. I hope there's no fence. Oh, there is a fence in there. There would be. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, how do we get in? Go all the way around. It's going to be all the way around, isn't it? You just know it is. We've actually come with like probably about five meters away from the original entrance and we completely went the wrong way around here we go we're going in here so we've got a bind point there this is going to be for your when we click on it click on it there we are lime station so obviously get your line from there a load of storage under here very nice and over here we've got a way bridge if you want to keep a track on the weight of your vehicle and then up to the right, as we see as you're coming round, we've got two massive, absolutely massive silage pits. They're huge. Very nice. And this is your BGA. So if we come down this way. There we go. There we go. We're in now. Here's your production chain menu. 1.6 million. Oh, pricey. Obviously, you load into either one of those. You then got down this side. Standard base game one, this is. The one megawatt one. But you're taking out point for your digestate. Carry on down here. Round the corner. You're loading in point for your slurry. Then round here. We've got a charging point for your electric vehicle. And a charging point for your methane powered vehicle. Mmm, very nice. And obviously, we've got two more big silage clamps there. Oh, that's 1.6 mil. You've got some massive, absolutely massive chaff changing areas. There you are, that's a new name for it. Chaff changing area. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, we're now going to come up to this part here. Right, so what's in this area here? This is your spinnery. So again, standard base game one. Production chain menu there, 60 grand to buy. Loading in point there. Pallet spawn point there. Very nice. Right, we're now going to come all the way up to this area here. Right, so what's in this area here? First up, we've got a buying point. Lime station. I'm assuming that's lime, actually. We'll click on it. Yep, and then next that, next to that, and put my teeth in. You got a selling point, so obviously your load all your loose stuff into there, and you come around the back here, and all your pallet stuff will go into there. Very nice. What's that one called? It's called land handle. Hmm, interesting. Right, we're now going to come over to this area here. Right, so what's in this area here? First off, obviously, that's the animal dealer sign. But there's nothing there. The animal dealer's actually over here. So, 
We'll ignore that one for a start. But what have we got here? This is your lime debris crusher or stone crusher, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, load your stuff in there. Job done. Now, if we come up this road, past all these walkers, there's something up here. That's brilliant. If we come, obviously, you've got a little white church there, little chapel on the hill. But look at that. Look at that view out over the lake. That is something special. Really is. That is a brilliant view. Oh, the map maker's done a good job with that. Brilliant. Right, so we'll carry on. Come down here. Again, into the lake. You back a trailer into there. No problem. Get free water. Free water is always good. I know we have got mods out where you can get the hydrants that give you free water. But, you know, sometimes just using what's on the map is great. Now over here, watch out for traffic. See, is anything coming? Oh, there is. Good job I looked there, wasn't it? So we'll go over the road. Got another buy point for your lime. There you are. Then next door, come down here. You've got a sell point here. So this is going to be, what's this called? Oh, why am I going to pronounce that? Veal handle Bellinamnami. Yeah, okay. That's the sale point. Your animal dealer sale point. And then around here, this is going to be your animal dealer. So you come in there. If you've got any pens, which we currently haven't, back your vehicle up into that part and then off you go. Then next door to that, we've got a production chain. This is your bakery. So click on there. 50 grand to buy. And around the back. Your loading in point. And where's the pallet spawn point? Hmm. Okay. There's no hatch markings for pallet spawn point. Rather random, that is. I'd imagine they'd normally come sort of around here, wouldn't they? Okay. Right. I'm going to go down this road now. Have a little run through. See, that lake was really nice. That view on top of that hill. Very nice. I mean, you've got these houses here. If you wanted to go on some sort of role play, we just place like a doormat down. Like a start from scratch scenario. Plenty of houses knocking around. You do that, no problem. So, not up here, we've got the farmer's market. Obviously, sow point there for you. And we come back down the road. Watching out for cars, obviously, because you know what I'm like for getting run over in these videos. We come back round past the bakery on the right here. There we are. So we'll turn right up here. Follow the road round a little bit. Up to that building there. It's always nice having a little walk out in the sunshine. On a sunny August afternoon. So this is going to be your tailor shop. So again, wardrobe icon on the front there. Loading in point there. Production chain menu, 100 grand to buy, and your pallet spawn point will be round the back. What a nice little village area. Very nice. Right, we're now going to come over to this one here. Right, so what's this? This is your dairy. Obviously, you load your stuff in there. There's your pallet spawn point. I'm going to have to go all the way round the back, past the windows, watching what they're doing. There's your production chain menu up there. We can get stuck on the railings up. There we are. 70 grand to buy. Get some dairy on the go. Can have a little watch while they're doing it as well. The machine's going out. Oh, yes. Right. We're now going to come up to here. Right, so what's up here? This is your sawmill. Again, standard base game shenanigans on the go. Pallet spawn point there. Your sow wood icon, you pull your trailer over there, and you come down here. Here's your production chain menu 100 grand to buy. You take your wood chips out of there. Very nice. Right, we're now going to move on to here. Right, so what's in this area here? You don't technically own anything, but there's a load of olive groves going up the hill. Oh, that's very nice. Let's have a little spin round. Oh, another great view. OK, 
at that. That's brilliant. I do like the fact they got these olive groves on the hill. That's very nice. Now when we come up here, this is the area where you've got the smallest viable piece of land. If we click on that and zoom right in, it's right next to field 40. That strip there is going to cost you 3,711. And basically what it is, is just two strips of olive groves. So we'll come up to the top. There we are, top of the hill. It's these two here. It's just these, these two. Is it these two? Yeah. It's these two rows here. That's all you own. Three grand. Okay. Fair enough. Obviously you have got that section over there. We click on that map there. That bit of wooded area. If you want to do a bit of forestry. But I do like the fact they've got it on the hills i mean that's what they normally do especially like with the the grapevines and that have it on the hills get the most sunlight and that view from the top of the hill as well that is brilliant absolutely brilliant right we're now going to come down to this area here right so what's this down here this is a great processing unit obviously you got your production chain menu there 80 grand to buy pallet spawn point there and your loading in point there but what's behind it is some great finds on the hill look at that that is ace now if we come in here and click on what we own section we own these little strips here that's brilliant so you get it harvested and take it straight into the great processing unit oh very nice very nice indeed. I do like this map. Now I've come down the hill and I've left my truck up there. Which is always a good thing. Alright, there we are. Through the trees. That's better. There it is. I found it again. So that is your map. I mean, this is great. Absolutely brilliant map. I mean, it is not flat. Not by any stretch of the imagination. But in a good way you've got big sweeping hills vines olive groves all up and down you know, even like the fields that you would normally farm on you know that look, look at it up and down up and down obviously it's going to test your tractors out because obviously you need more horsepower to get up and down the hills but this map is absolutely brilliant brilliant love it right so that's your map tour done obviously don't forget we have got the otg gaming discord group i'll drop a link below come and join the conversation if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's muchly appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one